Palace to CPJ, Rappler, Recitate is not press freedom issue. Manila, Philippines neither online media outfit Rappler nor its chief executive officer, Maria Ressa, reflects the condition of media in the Philippines. Malatnang said Tuesday at the slam the committee to protect journalists. CPJ, for expressing alarm on the state of press freedom in the country. In a statement, Presidential spokesperson Salvador Tainlo described the claim as a hasty generalization with no basis in fact nor in law. Ms. Rector, Rappler does not represent the entire media in the Philippines, Tainlo said. There are local journalists, he said, who are similarly critical, even outrageously hostile and biased of the policies of the administration but continue to enjoy the practice of their profession. Tainlo, who is also the chief legal counsel of President Rodrigo Duter, reiterated that Ressa was charged for a violation of law not related to the exercise of her right to free speech. We stress that she is facing criminal charges due to her commission of illegal acts, which include the offenses of tax evasion, breach of our anti-dummy statutes and violation of our fever libel law, which the investigating prosecutor and the force trying her found probable cause that she could have probably committed the same, he said, she cannot escape liabilities for these just because of her profession or politics. Ours is a system of law and no one is above it nor exempt from it, he added. CPJ officials visited the Philippines in a mission to discover what it describes as the increasing levels of intimidation and the shrinking space for the free press in the country. In a press statement released on Tuesday, CPJ expressed concern over the alleged various types of pressure exerted by the Duders administration on journalists in the country, citing the legal cases against Rappler and the threat to withhold the license of the TV network giant ABS Jackson. In reaction, Hamlo said that it was under Duders that the Philippines was delisted as one of the deadliest countries for media citing the 2018 annual report of Reporters Without Borders. He also mentioned the creation of the Presidential Task Force on Media Security, FUM, which the President created in his first administrative order on assuming office. The President himself advocates for the free marketplace of ideas and will continue to do so while preserving our country's vibrant democracy, Hamlo said. Related slash ATM, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.